The big banks have a terrible reputation for dealing fairly with customer complaints, but there are steps you should take to ensure your grievance is taken seriously. When things go wrong, the sooner you complain the better, giving you more chance of recalling all the details. Remember, some complaints have strict time limits, so don't miss the opportunity for redress. Written complaints are more likely to be taken seriously. Get a name of someone senior to address your letter to. Make sure you present your complaint in a clear and logical way. Stick to the facts and keep it brief. You should explain why you're not happy and what you expect the bank to do to rectify the situation. If you think you deserve compensation, make sure you say so. And remember, no matter how tempting it may be to vent your anger, don't. It won't do anything to increase your chances of winning. It's only fair you give the bank a reasonable amount of time in which to resolve your complaint. Don't expect an immediate response. The bank will need time to investigate first, particularly if your grievance is complicated. If you're not satisfied by the bank's decision, write another letter explaining you intend to take your complaint to the Financial Ombudsman Service. This is an independent body which resolves disputes between individuals and financial organisations. The service is completely free and may be able to help your claim for compensation. But remember, their decision is final. If you're still not happy with the outcome, you may need to go down legal channels. Finally, if you're really fed up with the bank, switch. There are several high interest current accounts on the market, such as the Alliance and Leicester Premier Direct account and the Santander Preferred In Credit Rate account, which are proving very popular. You can apply at lovemoney.com slash current accounts.